Hey, we've been looking at constructing frequency distributions with categorical data and we did that earlier with a count if function like you see here in this table that we created. I want to show you a different way and this different way uses something called a pivot table. Pivot tables are very easy to use especially with categorical data but uh, let's get started. So what I need to do is I need to go back to my original data and I highlight all of it starting even even including the title the title is going to be used as the title for the frequency distribution. So with that uh, highlighted, I'm going to go to the Insert tab on the toolbar. The first option is a pivot table. Clicking on the pivot table button, I get a discussion box. The first question it asks is, where's the data? Well, since we already chose it, it placed where the data is in this box already. Had we not chose it, obviously we'd have had to gone looking. Uh, the other choices I get are use this external data source. Well, we, we don't need that. We can come down here and say, well, where do we want to place the pivot table? I could put it in a new worksheet, and that's what I often do. But this time, I'm going to place it inside an existing worksheet. And I have to tell it where that is. So I am going to place it right next to the count if function that we use to create this other table. And then I'm just going to click OK. Once I click OK, I, I get this I get this format uh, where where the data is going to be placed and then way over here to the right are the properties that the data table can take. Uh, what I want to do is I want to make our pivot table look like this table we created with the count if function. So here we go. First thing I have to do is come over to the properties, go to the brand purchased. And I'm just going to right click, I'm sorry, left click and drag down to the rows. Notice the row label indicating how I want the rows to look. I let go and I see that my unique categories show up over here in the rows as headers for each row. Now I need to create something in the body of the table, something over here in column E. Well, let's see, the columns, no. The reason I don't want columns is because that's going to create labels as well. What I want are these values. The values is a reference to, well, what are the values I want sitting in my table? Well, I want a count of these this brand purchase data, so I'm going to just take values. Sorry, I'm going to left click and drag that brand purchase down to values. And automatically, Excel, Excel defaults on a categorical uh, table to, to create a count of how many times each unique label appears. So I don't even have to do anything, M meaning I could have chose, after choosing these value field settings, I could have chosen a number of things to do with the data. Unfortunately, with categorical data, there's only one that makes sense, and that's to count it. So Excel sees categorical data, defaults to the count. And there I have a pivot table, which is looking suspiciously like the pivot table we created with the count if function. But once again, was much faster to get to. Unfortunately, like I said earlier, it kind of, not kind of, it hides, uh, it hides what we're doing as we're creating the count ifs here.